morning guys after we tested the new polo gti a few days ago which you probably saw in our last video today we want to show you its bigger brother the golf 7 gti facelift we know that actually the golf 8 is basically right around the corner it will probably be announced early this year and then like afterwards the gti won't be far either but we just wanted to take the chance to show you the 7.5 gti once more actually the performance increasement is in our shop for quite a while so we developed the product we just wanted to show it to you in the video um, and also which is kind of interesting this car already has the opf or the gpf which a lot of even facelift cars don't have because it's like the new requirement yes yeah, so danny what do you think about the golf 7 in general as gti do you like it or what do you think I mean, about the car? It, it is a great car overall, um, definitely. But it, I think it's the same situation uh, as with the Polo GTI. It always depends what you're looking for. I mean, direct competition is the Hyundai uh, i30N, for example. Yeah. Uh, for example. Basically, the cars are very similar. Both hot hatches, both two liter turbo, and um, I mean, in stock, the the performance there is a little difference, but especially tuned, it's very similar. But still. The difference between the cars is like crazy huge. Uh, maybe we should mention before that it's the GTI performance version. Ah, sure. Um, yeah. With 180 kilowatt in stock, so it is 245 horsepower, um, yep. like VW claim. But we measured the car with a little bit more actually. Um, we measured the car with uh, 269 horsepower in stock, mm -hmm. also uh, 386 newton meters, and official figure is uh, 370 newton meters. Mm -hmm. uh, so slightly above the figures. With the GTS Black installed, yeah. we have now 306 horsepower and uh, 448 newton meters of torque and also for for Ch german or austrian clients uh, we do have a tiff certification for the uh, golf 7 uh, gti for the non opf version the opf version will be available pretty soon yeah the difference between the cars is like crazy huge because overall hands down the gti is much more refined i mean the interior is nicer it's lighter than the i30n um, and to be honest like the power delivery is smoother you just have a power curve which goes up all the way instead of the i30n where you have kind of a plateau yeah that, that is what i would like to mention why there is a difference between those cars uh, in, specifically the 7, Golf 7 GTI or 7.5 GTI uh, holds the torque way longer than, than the uh, i30N. On the i30N you have a peak at the bidding and it drops down uh, in higher RPMs and the Golf 7 uh, GTI holds it until um, you, you got the same torque basically from 1800 RPMs up to 5000 RPM you have the same uh, Newton meters. Yeah. So uh, you have like 448 Newton meters if that's the up right now mm -hmm. with the GTS Black. So that is like that that is what makes a difference between those cars yeah absolutely so while this car definitely has less performance in stock i wouldn't be surprised if with gts black it would actually be faster than our i30n yeah i'm because pretty sure the power curve is just better at the higher rpm part yeah and this one got uh, the dsg clutch <laughs> which also helps which also course. helps a little bit uh, in time what i also want to mention is as you said in the beginning it really depends on what you want because like objectively this is the better car there's just no way around it it's more refined it's with the dsg probably faster it has more features and so on and so on i mean of course it's like this one is like ten thousand euros more expensive than our i30n because it isn't as refined it's like loud it pops and bangs the power delivery yes it's weird because it has like this huge torque curve at the beginning and then it kind of dies off a little bit yeah, right. But if you don't drive on the autobahn all the time, but instead if you want to have fun on a country road or something, it's just crazy fun because you, you put the pedal in third gear and it shoots forward, which this one doesn't, even though it's faster if you really rev it. It's um, really personal preference, I would say. Like, if you're looking for a fun car with pops and bangs and is a little bit noisy, then you maybe should go for the i30N. But if you look for it like in daily, which is really fast, Golf GTI is the way to go, yes. I would say. And that's something which I find quite like confusing because people, especially in the internet, also in our YouTube comments, they always seem to fight against each other, which car is better. They need a strong opinion. It's like, I mean, I drove both of the cars. I even owned a Golf 6 GTI ed Edition 35 a few years ago. And all the cars are great. It just depends on what's your personal preference. And yeah, this one is faster than i30N, but so what if you like the i30N more you buy it 
and that's it. But yeah, this one is faster, no discussion there. Maybe that's why it's like 10,000 euros more expensive, you know? I, I would love to see people just accepting other cars and just drive the car they like most personally yeah, and don't hate the opinion from from other yeah. people and next up we're gonna do the actual acceleration times yeah so basically we can always like state that performance wise on the dyno the opf doesn't really have any negative effects for several other cars it did have a little negative effect on acceleration even though the performance was similar on the dyno but basically uh, we're on the way to the autobahn to find out exactly that so let's go done with our measurements on the autobahn the conditions are they really suck they really be honest they really suck to be honest <laughs> we have rain it's cold the traffic was really really bad actually you guys saw like 30 seconds combined and for us it took i think three hours to get those two measurements either it's like the slope is too big or you have some idiot pulling to the left lane it's not as much fun as you guys would think to do those measurements believe us yeah I But Actually, we, we want to have it. really accurate measurements, yeah. so um, we're looking at the slope, if it's uphill or downhill, and we are just taking measurements that are like basically straight, um, so we can compare times, and times are really accurate. Finally, we measured some times, 100 to 200 in stock, we had 17.9 seconds, so I would say time we expected. And with the GTS Black, the best time we had was 14.1, but actually the iPhone, like, didn't record um, the measurement, uh, which sucks, but we have the measurement on the draggy, which we're gonna show you somewhere in the video now. Somewhere um, around here, you can see it. Yeah, and the best recorded, uh, video recorded measurement was 14.4 seconds. Exactly, which, which you just still, saw in the video. Which is still an uh, improvement by 3.5 seconds around that area. Yeah. And also what is really important to keep in mind, this is already the Golf GTI performance version with the OPF installed. Under better conditions, like I'm pretty sure we could get times like 13.9, like yeah. stable 14 times are definitely possible. Yeah, but as you said, I think if the, the measurements are solid, it's okay. Um, and also, as you mentioned, it's the OPF model, which is kind of new. And we personally didn't find any tuning measurements with an OPF model yet, Not because yet. it's just too new on the market. The whole OPF team is kind of, kind of a mystery, because... On the dyno, they always like perform as well as the non-OPF models, but on acceleration runs, not only with like a Golf GDI, but also with M2 competition and stuff, you always get slightly worse measurements than without OPF. So we're gonna find out at some point yeah, yeah. why this is the case. Also have to keep in mind that the Golf 7 GTI, basically the model is on the market for almost a decade yeah, right. it's like for a really long time and if you keep this in mind it's quite impressive that it still performs this good in comparison to other models okay so then that's it for the golf gti for this week and as always if you want to know anything about the video write us a comment if you like the video uh, leave us a like and see you next week guys